We're taking a look now at the historic Muncaster Castle in Cumbria, England. It's believed to have been built around 800 years ago. The castle belongs to the Pennington family, where a few members are still living there today, including Ewan Frost Pennington, who was recently working in San Francisco as a renewable energy consultant. He has decided to leave that job and take over the family castle to open it up to visitors. And he joins us live this morning to tell us more about it. Good morning. Good morning. So you're living you it up in San Francisco. We're good, thank you. And then you make this move to a castle in England. Uh, I think you're living with your parents there too. Talk about that life change. Yeah, it's, um, it's still settling in. It's been about six or seven months since I left San Francisco. So I was brought up in the, in the castle and the first generation to be brought up in the castle for over a hundred years. Oh, wow. um, and uh, even though it's continuously been in my family for 800 years, but um, yeah, it's uh, very odd because I've been away for 15 years and I kind of see it as a childhood home. But now my parents are handing the keys over to me to uh, decide what to do and how we, uh, how we make it a sustainable business, basically. When I think of castles, I think about these big drafty rooms. Uh, so how do you start by trying to make it um, more f renewable energy friendly and you know, things that have been over 800 years old? Yeah, you're, you're exactly right, Lauren, um, because, uh, yeah, it, it's not the, the most obvious place to, to convert to be zero carbon. Um, but my background and the things that I've learned from San Francisco have helped uh, incredibly uh, in, in our transition. So, uh, so far, we've installed a, a ground source heat pump, uh, which yeah. enables to, us to, um, to heat the main rooms. Uh, in my time growing up, we would never turn on the heating uh, because... It, it, it just didn't, it, it wasn't even worth heating because it would just lose so much heat yeah. through the single glazed windows and it was so expensive, we just couldn't afford to do it. Um, whereas now that we've installed the ground source heat pump and then we've combined it with uh, solar panels, uh, we're able to, to heat the castle uh, for, yeah, virtually zero carbon in, in the main rooms, wow. which has been transformational to the spaces. So we can use them in a far, um, kind of, uh, on a far more frequent basis and we can protect the heritage within in the castle. So yeah, really exciting to have done that. I mean, yeah, so you're right. I, I put the background on because I'm sat in my, my grandparents uh, or my former, my late grandparents flat, but it's just for a young person coming back from America, um, <laughs> it's not exactly decorated in my style. I was, uh, yeah. Um, uh, so it's always difficult to, um, yeah, if, if I turn it off, you can see that there's a wooden paneling. Well, now with a you can see your full head of hair, too. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm also uh, <laughs> so, in well, trouble it's, my it's not just a, hair <laughs> It's not just a regular castle, though. Like, people think this is a haunted castle. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. um, it, like, I, I've been brought up in it, and when we first, um, well, for my brother, sister, and I, we refused to not sleep in the same room. I think most people normally have the other thing where they want to move, uh, have their own bedroom as a kid and stuff. For us, uh, because we were so scared in the castle, we would always share, uh, share a bedroom um, <laughs> until we were like 12, 13, 14, until we were finally brave enough to venture out. But, but yeah, coming back, I've had a few weird experiences. Um, like the other day, I think I went to sleep and my door was open. And even though I'm in a tower on my own, uh, someone or something had potentially closed the door. And I have to say, I, when I woke up, I was slightly freaked out. But, um, but yeah, we've got a haunted uh, bedroom called the tapestry room. Uh, and that's infamous for, we used to put family friends in there. But on a regular basis. <laughs> really nice guys. <laughs> well, yeah, this was before we knew it was haunted. But so many people complained about the child crying. Uh, that, um, oh that we had to had to stop that, and then even even worse even worse than that, the, uh, supposedly some people uh, were fine with the child crying. It was just when finally um, the uh, uh, the nurse started singing to the child that people got too freaked out um, <laughs> when there's no no children in the house. So well, yeah, you and we wish you all the best with the project. Ooh. You can check out more at Muncaster dot dot. Co co uk excuse me you can yeah. also see more on social media <laughs> thank you so much yeah. for joining us this morning well thanks for the time and yeah come and visit we would love to to um to have you have you here to stay i'll send lauren i'll buy yourself thank <laughs> <Okay>. you <laughs>